guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hi welcome my name is pearl cozy and if you're returning what's good bitch hope you are well today is monday the 23rd of august I'm not gonna lie i feel like pants like i feel like absolute shit today i think i'm getting tonsillitis when winter comes i always always get tonsillitis always like every single year and i've been trying to get it removed but um my doctors say that I have to get at least four to five times in a year for them to remove it. But I'm like, so I just have to sit here and suffer. Like, I just have to sit here and suffer. By the way, don't mind my nails. I have pressed on nails. These are very childish. <laughs> they keep popping off, but they served its purpose. I went out the other day and I just needed them for that day, to be honest. And if you hear chewing in the back, um, Chase is literally chewing his treat. I'm not well at all. Well, not at all, but I feel myself like not getting, like I feel myself getting sick, should I say. So I put some, um, you know, the vitamin tablet things that you just put in water to dissolve. So I'm having that and then um, I'm going to get ready to go to Sainsbury's to get, not Sainsbury's, Tesco, to get Chase some food. And then I want to make baked, sweet baked potatoes and a big salad and steak for dinner. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I need to finish off packing. And in the last vlog, I mentioned that we are moving. Yeah, I mentioned that we are moving. And oh, moving is just so shit. Like, moving is shit as a kid. But as an adult, it's worse. Because you literally have to do everything your damn self. Like, <laughs> you have to do everything yourself. Even though my mom and my family did offer to help me move. Like, to help me pack and stuff. Um... I declined their offer for now because like things are just everywhere right now and even in my head I don't know where things are going so if they're here they'll be like where's this going where's this going and I'm like I don't know I don't know I don't know like it'll stress me out even more so I'm gonna do as much as I can myself first and then once things get easier to be honest I don't think it's that much work because we're literally moving our clothes and our beds and um the furniture and stuff this house is fully furnished so the furniture and stuff are staying aside from the beds and the tvs so that's pretty much it but i need to figure out what clothes i'm gonna be wearing throughout the next few weeks um yeah what clothes i'm gonna be wearing that i don't need to pack because if i pack it i'm like oh my god i can't find it and have to undo a whole box no man that's not the agenda. We're moving on the third. We have to be out on the third, which is <laughs> next week, Friday. We need to be out of here. I've packed one box, literally one box. So today I really, really need to focus on packing. And um, I called my GP because I'm 25 and I booked my smear test. Um, when you turn 25, you literally need to book your smear test. Ladies, please, please, please book your smear test. Like, um, I know it's scary, but it's really not that scary. I think it's just the thought of it that's more daunting and stuff. And waiting for results and stuff is just scary. But rather be safe than sorry. Um, one of my friends as well, I'm like, come, I'll book it for you as well. And she's like, no, I don't want to. I'm scared. And I'm like, ma'am like scared of the pain or like what are you scared of and she's just like nope just scared of what they might find and i'm like they'll find nothing so they have nothing to be scared of but um yeah obviously i can't force people to do what they don't want to do but yeah please please book your smear test it's better to be safe than sorry and just check everything everything will come out fine anyway hey guys what's good i have not picked up my camera in a few days i literally introduced the vlog and um just cut out forget what i look like right now i look a bit dusty raggedy and i am still in my dressing gown it's coming up to 3 p.m but i'm literally sitting here watching uh desperate Oh, Devious Maids, we're having some watermelon. I just finished some Endemie and having a bottle of water because we've got to stay hydrated, honey. So today, basically, my friends were supposed to come around and help me pack um, the rest of the stuff. But uh, <laughs> I nearly is hungover. Hope is babysitting and then she has something to do in the evening. And they're like, they'll just come tomorrow. So I was like, okay, cool. 
and to get them to come here was really easier than actually thought. All I had to say is like, I'll buy them like a crate of Budweiser and get them some food and then they'll just help me pack. But the last time that we moved, I nearly helped me pack. Jay was so busy with work, so he didn't even lift a finger. <laughs> so I nearly came over and helped me pack and we literally had everything out and done within like a few hours. Like, I said like 12 hours, but yeah, and she even helped us move in and stuff. But yeah i'm happy that we're literally just moving clothes and not furniture so it's not that bad but i've been taking it real slow because i knew it was just clothes but now i'm like hmm we in a hurry child we in the motherfucker hurry and i'm just chilling so i'm gonna do like a lot of it today and then the girls will come over tomorrow and help me pack so they're gonna come early in the morning yeah, so they're going to come early in the morning and just help with everything else. I'm wearing my cute little dressing gown. My mum sent me a box of, like, goodies. She sent me a box of, like, sohwapa, which is biltong, and a few sweets from home, and um, my dressing gown. My mum's love language is gifting, like, soft, fluffy things, which is so cute. Like, even with Jay, she bought Jay... Um, because I have my a comfort blanket at my big age. Comment down below if you have a comfort blanket or a comfort, like, dressing gown or comfort socks. Comfort anything, but I have a comfort blanket. And, yeah, I've had it for a few years. And I just, like, if I'm going studio to edit or if I'm going anywhere where I needed to be comfortable, I'm not comfortable without my comfort blanket. Or if I have a long car journey where I'm, when I'm not driving, um, I need my comfort blanket to be comfortable. So yeah comment down below if you have something similar so my mum bought jay a comfort blanket he bought his daughter a comfort blanket and then she was like do you think jay's brothers will want one and i'm like no mommy they really don't they uh, they would not want one they'll be so like thankful and just be like oh thoughtful but it'll be a waste of money because i feel like they won't use it but yeah anyways let me finish this bowl of fruit and you can watch me pack in the next clip tired already but this box i mean this room is almost packed so feeling quite you know achieved that's not the word feeling accomplished that's the word but i'm getting tired now but you know gotta keep going child gotta keep going Oh, the knives, yeah. yeah, the knives. 
Um, and Hope and Anili, the orbs, those babe, guys. <laughs> We're packing and we're, I think we're basically done no, no, and no. I want to take a break, but Sandra's like, we, we are, are nowhere done. near done. We're leaving all the furniture. My lips always look so ashy on this. We're leaving the furniture. I quickly agree. <laughs> we're literally leaving the furniture and stuff, but all the clothes are basically almost packed. We've left the clothes that we'll be wearing for the next few days. since I picked up my camera yeah I've literally just been packing and that's it I think the last clip of you guys seeing me was with the girls packing and now that the house is fully packed I am gonna do a house tour tomorrow right now Jenna just finished getting ready we're going to the yam carnival for those who don't know yam carnival is like um doing this year because I'm just like I think my pubes are sticking out of the jumpsuit babe wax is overdue um yam festival is yam carnival is like a festival basically and um a lot of people are performing today so um, i thought let's go let me show you this cute little outfit that i have on and i've got these boots let me see if the light will show yeah here i have a jumpsuit on um it's long sleeves but then i put this jacket on top and my shoes kind of look yeah they are quite chunky um so yesterday we went to go pick up our keys at like 11 p.m um we chilled with our landlords for a little bit well our new landlords for a bit and they were so nice and we just caught up and stuff my mood this morning are a bit iffy due to the fact that I'm on my period and this time it's so heavy and I don't understand why like when I take the morning after pill yeah I get that it makes it heavy or it changes it or it stops it for this month comes back next month but um I didn't take it for time I haven't taken it for a while so I don't know what's going on child. I don't know what's going on maybe it's the stress of moving and packing and doing everything I think because that does affect your periods like stress does um but yeah so my mood is not like a1 it's not i'm not the most uppity person right now but it's okay i think once the festival starts and i'm around people and yeah i literally have to um i have to mentally prepare myself to be around people right now um jay and chase are getting it left right and center like i'm shouting at them and chase yesterday spoke back to me like I don't know what he was doing. he was downstairs and because he usually sleeps upstairs with us um again he doesn't sleep on the bed we we don't do that we are black we don't do that um he sleeps on the floor or he sleeps on a corridor like or outside our room but um he he was downstairs because he kept fighting a lot and i'm like no you're gonna make me feel sick you're like you're gonna make me vomit so i told him to go downstairs and he went downstairs and he started crying, crying because he wanted to go back upstairs, like he was just moaning. And I, I shouted at him, told him to shut up, and then he shouted back. And I'm like, Are you sure you'll be doing that right now? You're picking the wrong time to be shouting back at me, babes. Wrong time of the month. Oh, um, comment down below if this happens to you too. But recently, every time I've been getting on my period, I've been getting sick. And I was thinking, does that lower your immune system? But um, Google didn't give me answers, but a few people on Twitter. Huh? Yeah, I'm ready. A few people on Twitter told me that when your hormones go up, it decreases your immune system. So, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm going to leave now. I have to go. Take paracetamol. Mm, paracetamol, Panadol. Extra.
Mm. Camera's gonna drop now. Oh no. My lips feel so dry but they're not dry. The festival trail. It was lit. It was oh, fun. absolutely Best fab. carnival or festival ever. Best any type of. Best anything ever. Good vibes. It good was people. so good, but I, I think anxiety was a bit up there because it's the first time we've been oh. around a, 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 a ocean of people. Yeah, yeah. But it was really, really good. It's really good. Yeah. Catch you guys at the next one. Yeah, we've got good food and drinks. So. See you later, hey guys, I haven't picked up my camera in a couple of days. I've just been like packing and moving and stuff. Okay. And today, no, wait. And today it's the, I don't know, we're sleeping at our new house today. Tracy, no, I don't want to play. No, I'll play with you downstairs. Um, yeah, today we're staying at the new place. So excited. Um, I can't wait to show you guys. Well, not show you guys, but for you to see in the background. <laughs> our new home. Um, Jay has a session at 7, so today's literally going to be the first time I'm there by myself. Um, and the first time we're staying there. And someone's sitting here trying to force me to play with him. I'm going to need to do stuff, okay? <laughs> he takes it and throws the ball at me oh. Oh, and Chasey you just ate tuna and he just finished eating and his breath just smells of fish so he's grabbing the toy and making it wet and just throwing it at my legs and my dressing gown Chasey you excited to move we're going to have a new home do you care? Our landlords are so lovely, like the landlords that were moving in to their house. Go give it to daddy. Go give the ball to daddy. Not me. <laughs> Anyways, let me finish doing everything and I'll speak to you guys later. Hey guys, so we're in the new home. 
I'm not gonna do oh I'm gonna show you guys the um what is it the old house like a, a house tour but yeah you only see like certain rooms of the new one but it's really cute um there's the kitchen it's cute it's like old and new at the same time we bought this from the old house just so that we get don't mind me i look absolutely horrible let me take this off actually i look horrible i'm still in my dressing gown but um, i got this from the old house so i'm gonna pop it and you know it's never been at home and our landlord left us a cute card and some eggs because they have a farm um so they have loads of chickens and they're just saying that they give out eggs to all their friends and stuff because they have a lot so they're like okay we'll have it don't egg us just take the eggs they're so nice they're really really nice i never realized how important it is to have a good like a good relationship with your landlord or to have a nice landlord uh dear paul and jonathan and chase <laughs> I could see a new home, lots of love. It's a babe. <laughs> places to clean like I find it a lot easier to clean the kitchen <laughs> Oh yeah, apparently I never to keep eggs in the fridge. Uh, yeah, that's why I never leave them in the fridge. I always put them in the fridge. Mm. What happens when you put them in the fridge? I have no idea. <laughs> Fuck, like winter is here already. I feel like Chasey loves the house, but he doesn't. I don't know if he knows that we've moved, but it takes him a few days.
but I just came out of the shower. I'm trying to just let it sink, I should claim. I'm in awe with the lighting, like the lighting scheme was supposed to be. Look, it's 
just gave me what it's supposed to give. Wow. I love how shiny it makes my face look. Love it. Love it. Anyways, the next rich and natural vitamin E eye cream. It has this high in antioxidants apparently. I don't really use eye creams like that to be honest. Um, I've had this eye cream for so long but I never really use it. I want to get into using eye creams and you know, eye masks or whatever. Super. I'm going to wear it with my jacket. Um, <laughs> Hello lads. So I've just got home. It's like, it's half 10 right now. Just got home, ciao. I am, um, I think I should bring the camera a little bit closer to be honest, it seems a bit far. So I've just got home, um, I was at the other house, as you guys saw, it was um, CP, which is Jay's older brother, he had a video shoot, so um, they did it at the house and I just chilled, to be quite honest. As you guys saw that I, we actually didn't end up going um, shopping, so we're going to go in the morning tomorrow. Um, and get some clothes for tomorrow's event. Um, I was decided if I should go to two, to the vamp one and the Tion's one, but I don't know, depending on how quick I find the outfit for tomorrow, then I will go, but I'm not quite sure. I'm really not sure, so I have to wait and see. But I did actually do the house tour of the old house, so I'm going to do it in my next vlog because this vlog's already long, girl. I'm This vlog's already really long, so I'm really trying to cut it short. But um, I do apologize. I'm so sorry. I know I've promised it to you. I just wanted to like literally sit down and like, I don't know, absorb everything or digest everything because I feel like I'm so overwhelmed. Like moving house is so... It's like a lot and it's so ghetto. <laughs> you can see, I'm stroking Chase's thigh. Yeah, moving house is just so overwhelming and it's just so much, but um, so stressful. But I'm so grateful to be where I am. Like, I'm so happy. We love the house. It's so homely. It is really nice and it's everything that we want, to be honest. But yeah, it's everything I would want. And like, guys, I really, if, <sighs> This house is gorgeous, like, my, I'm so grateful, like, I'm so grateful for my life, and I'm so grateful to where I am, like, I have manifested everything and more, um, I've really, I feel like I've manifested so much, <laughs> not Chase's feet in the air, child, um, but yeah, I've manifested so much, and I'm so grateful for my life, I'm so, so grateful, I thank God, and I'm grateful for my health as well, I'm grateful for everyone around me, I'm, Hey, I'm grateful for everything. Um, yeah, I'm just really, really. 
It's Chase's feet being in there. I'm so sorry if you can see his balls. I'm just really, really happy. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. And guys, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss out every time I upload a video. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see you in my next one. Bye.